episode of Forza Motorsport 5. It's a Forza Saturday, and we're looking at a classic 1970s Grand Prix Saturday because we want to get back in the Niki Lauda number one, the red Scuderia. And let's sit behind that wheel and look. Oh, my goodness. Look at that prancing horse right in the middle. You know that's Ferrari. Let's check out. Look at those gauges. Up to 14 thousand revolutions per minute 130 miles an hour and we're going to check out his gears right now remember this is the 1970s and if you've ever seen the movie rush you know what this is all about hunt james hunt and lauda nikki lauda five gears manual shift should be fun we raced him this week already he did okay. He does great at Grand Prix circuits. But we're going to try to get 1970s Grand Prix gold with him. So heading off to Racing League. Yesterday was a GT. Today is 1970s Grand Prix. We currently have eight out of 15 gold events in this series. 70s Grand Prix division. Heading off. To the Bugatti Circuit in Le Mans. At the Circuit de la Sarthe. Back to France. It's a circuit. Le Mans. Circuit du Le Mans. We know it well. We won't be seeing the Mulsanne straight. We won't be seeing the Indianapolis. But we will be seeing a nice, tight Bugatti race course. And we know Bugatti Circuit very well. Espresso, cappuccino in the infield. Enjoy your day. It's always 3 p.m. in Le Mans. It's always 86 degrees, 30 Fahrenheit, uh, 30 Celsius, and it's 2.6 miles, just like the Indianapolis Grand Prix. Three laps. Let's check out this starting grid today. Shut Dinosaur, 346. That's Shut Dinosaur, 346, and the James Hunt, number 11. Those are the only two racers in this. A bunch of James Hunt and a bunch of Nicky Lauda in different forms. We got our friends, Das Snowballs. Japanese UFOs came back. Mersinho BR, Beholder, and here's Johnny 8 and many others. Remember. One, two, three is gold. Four, five, six, seven is silver and a 10 is bronze. We already got the silver. We're trying to get the gold. Today is Nicky Lauda Saturday. Let's get it done. Tag hour. A gift. Good year, Mercedes. There you see the famous steering wheel. We're starting inside of the vehicle. For a new trend. Starting inside until the, until the start's going bad. There's Beholder and his Grand Prix racer. Got three laps. So there's plenty of time to do something. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Calm down. Calm down. Look back on Dunlop. Oh my goodness. Keep it straight, keep it straight. All right. And inside of Racers and excellent corner on the Bugatti circuit. Moving right beyond the bronze. Okay, we're getting out of this mode. We want to see what we're doing. Oh, and the spooky sheep. Looking pretty good. Got some leaders up there we need to catch, but we're sitting here. Eight, seven, six. Get inside, get inside. Oh, what a move! Right across the grass. Are you kidding me, Nikki? And someone got wide. A yellow Grand Prix car. A yellow Grand Prix vehicle got wide. It might have been Japanese UFOs. We're on this tight S here. The Bugatti Target. Not the tightest desk, but it's still tight at these speeds. Oh, coming up on 3 2 1. The goal is to turn silver into gold. Ferrari gold. Victory would be wonderful, but we want Ferrari gold. Podiums, podiums. Final turn here at the Bugatti circuit. We are currently in a podium. Now we're looking to try to. 
nail down the podium and attack the leader. if this was the start or old Nissan. But in the Bugatti circuit, we take a right. Now we're going to go inside of the vehicle again. As we are racing with Nicky Lauda, with Roger Du, moving into, yes, good pass, excellent Into runner-up position. You're here with the red Scuderia, right behind the wheel. And there's the pole. Shut Dinosaur. There, there. It's a light blue Grand Prix car and many others. Coming up on the pole. Coming up on Shut Dinosaur. Bumping him. And pass him. Don't get on the sticky tack. It's okay. Holding your position. Oh my goodness. There's somebody right behind. Bumping and holding or no? Intense. Get on outside, get on the inside, take him on the inside, take him right there, take him, got him, got him. The pole is back in second, the pole is back in second and we're in the final lap. And Nicky Lauda has the lead, will he be caught? What would you do in the red scoot area? Oh no! Too difficult of the uh, fortunate track for me to take anything. Oh boy, we got racers behind us. I think I'm gonna stay like this until the final turn. Racing beautifully today, but there's still the final lap. The Japanese UFOs is right behind us in the yellow Grand Prix car. This could be tough. Right there. And everyone else waiting. If I happen to get loose, the pass and even take away the podium. But right now we got the victory. Can we hold it? Heading down the straight. Looking good. To and through the Le Mans. Into the mini. Tight S. Stay off the sticky tack. Oh, they're all behind. This last corner is going to tell it. Hold it tight, hold it tight, don't get loose. Oh my goodness, Japanese UFOs just bumped the back rear. The rear right was bumped by Japanese UFOs. Coming around the final corner. Ferris wheel, Humphreys, who's got it? It's going to be Nicky Lauda. In the Red Scoot area with the victory! Victory Ferrari at Le Mans Bugatti Circuit. Woo! That was close. That could have been bad bumping that, that left rear. With that right rear. With that right front, I guess. Oh wow, 7540. That was something. Great way to start 70s Grand Prix Saturday with a victory at Le Mans, turning silver to gold. That guy in the back is still going like, oh man, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Guess what happened? You just won. All right, so Ferrari gold, Ferrari victory, Ferrari right, in the first race here for the Red Scuderia. And we are looking now at heading off to Road Atlanta. We asphalt of Georgia for an event at Road Atlanta. The hot asphalt. <laughs> That's kind of funny, huh? There we have it, Yokohama Advent. Yokohama Advent. Yokohama Hill. We know it well. It's Brazelton, Georgia. It is the forests 
in and around Atlanta, Georgia, called Road Atlanta Racecourse. And we are going to try to turn silver into gold right here. We probably know what this right here, the Grand S, is probably going to be the biggest obstacle, keeping it straight on that long straight so that we don't get in the grass and lose it. It's going to be the same group. Absolutely. Shut Dinosaur. Das Snowballs. Didn't see him. Japanese UFOs who bumped me in the Ferrari, in his yellow Ferrari. Mersinho BR, Beholder in a red McLaren was right there. And here's Johnny 8. Uh, we also saw Walnut Binky, 799 right there. Just like um, Dizzy Binky. And we also saw Spooky Sheep in there as well. And I think a thigh the a a a the the one was also in there as well. With uh, but we're gonna see in this second race. Remember, we're trying to go for gold, so it's what to do is gold five and six seven and seven, and it's in his bronze. Already got silver. Definitely don't want bronze. But we're gonna try to go for back to back gold. Remember here at Road Atlanta, ours. We always start on a curve, so we don't look back until we got that straight. It's the good year, it's the number one. Don't get too crazy. Now we can look behind and there's here's Johnny. All right, let's find our spot right away. This is risky, actually I'm gonna go back outside. I can't take it inside until we get our spot. Too risky. Bump somebody, fall back quick, even though there are four laps. Wow, that was that was smooth. That was real smooth, I'm sure. Yokohama Road Atlanta! Yokohama Tires, as you know Chelsea. The ball club. Yokohama. The brand name that's very noticeable to you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Japanese UFO has a gigantic circle G. Alright, inside, inside, get it! Japanese UFOs in that yellow Ferrari. Oh my goodness, that was a good move. He loves yellow. Get up there, there's Japanese UFOs. Ah, get up. Oh boy, these speeds and this acceleration from these Grand Prix races is extremely exhilarating, but it's also extremely intense. Stay off the grass, thank you. Not bad heading up Chevrolet Hill. Lap one of four, about ready to be complete. Don't get crazy, don't bang anything. Don't get too fast or too loose. Excellent corner, my man. Sitting here in 11th, I'm good. Japanese UFO's right behind me. Get inside, get inside. Go, go. Nice, up the highest bronze. Now up to lowest silver. In the silver range, that means anything can happen from there. You get bumped back to 16th, or you can move up to second really quick. Right now, we're looking to get into highest silver. There's six, Walnut Binky, 7.99. Oh my goodness, we have a good lead on the other. What happened to Japanese UFOs? Maybe he wrecked. Maybe he's just right at the top of the hill. Right past Walnut Binky, moving into six. I see five and four around Advan Yokohama corner. Heading up Yokohama Hill, I see five, four, three, and two. One, Yokohama Bridge, two and three. Looking good right now. In lap number two, for the number one. Red Scudero, Vicky Lauda, and Red Trying to go for back-to-back -back goal. Get in that! I see Spooky Sheep. I see Athy the one. Oh, Athy, that was a bump, and I still held it. Good job. All right, up to fifth. Two more laps to go. Good racing this Saturday morning by Nikki Lauda. First turning silver to gold with a victory at Le Mans. It's a great way to start today with a victory at Bugatti Circuit. And now, oh my goodness. Right by Spooky Sheep! Into 
a podium. Keep it, hold it. Oh, wow. Three, two, and one. Here we are at the back of the podium. But we see two right in front of us. I don't think a victory is possible today. I'm not sure who that is in the lead, but we're going to check it out in just a moment as soon as we pass. I think it's, I think it's the pole. So we just passed the runner-up, and the runner-up was 321 Grid. The runner-up was SKLD Skilled 117. Skilled 117 was uh, in the runner-up. Now we are, oh, look who's in first. Look who's the line leader. Das Snowballs in his Ferrari 312. Um, there's no way we're going to catch him. So we're definitely just trying to hold on to gold. As you can see, in his yellow Ferrari, Japanese UFOs has moved up to fourth, passing the pole, who's now in fifth. Spooky Sheep is back in sixth. Athey the One is back in seventh. Oh no, what happened to Beholder and Walnut Binky? There goes one. Here's Johnny A just trying to hold on to his hands. All right, let's hold it, guys. A little bit more than a lap and a half to go. I'm pretty sure that we can hold on to at least a podium. I'm hoping for a runner-up. Either way, Ferrari Gold is there. I'm wondering if I can risk going inside the vehicle for this final lap. I'm going to probably try. I'm going to wait till we get to the straight to look behind and see who's there. Check it out. Yep, Japanese UFOs is there. Let's get inside the vehicle. Last lap with Nikki Lauda as we try to finish off a podium here at Rodin. You see Japanese UFOs behind us. I'm looking out the side mirrors and I don't see anyone yet. Don't get loose. Ah, these are serious S's. Serious S's here at Road Atlanta, but it's fun. No one behind right now. Keep it strong on the corner. Nicely done. Keep it strong on Advan Yokohama corner. Good, good, good. Go up the hill. Oh, uh oh. Get up Yokohama Hill. Oh my goodness! Who's right behind us? Japanese UFO, he's trying to get that one up. He's gonna bump us. You know he will. He bumped us in the last race trying to get the victory. Now he's trying to get the runner up. I see him in the mirror. Throwing it down, turning it. Oh my goodness, Japanese UFOs! You just bumped me hard! Oh my goodness, you're tough. I'm gonna get you on the inside. I'm gonna get you on the inside. I'm gonna get you on the inside. I'm getting this runner up! What a race! Wow! That was serious! Great job by the Red Scuderia. Great job by the number one, Nikki Lauda. Coming through with a victory and a runner-up. Back-to-back golds. Double gold. Double gold for Ferrari. Double gold for Roger Du. 84.50. And a very, very exciting finish between Roger Du and Japanese UFOs. Up to driver level 328. There's no need to go any higher than 25 because you can't. So we got a Fendi level 25 with Ferrari. And we're moving on to the next silver and turning it into gold. Nikki Lauda's two for two today on a 1970s Grand Prix Saturday. Today? Looking good. What a fun event. 1970s Grand Prix Saturday with some of the guys that are here. We're heading off to Road America. So from Road Atlanta to Road America, you know them well. Road America, Minnesota? No. Road America, Michigan? No. Road America, Wisconsin. Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. From my geographic knowledge right there on Lake Michigan. And... Uh, in beautiful Wisconsin, Chevrolet, WeatherTech, Goodyear. There's the pits. You like it. It's fun. It's challenging. Turning silver into gold, 11.30 a.m. here at Elkhart Lake. We are looking at the same grid. 
but shut the dinosaur, 346 in the pole. We got A through the one up there. We got Spooky Sheep, 0916. We got Skilled, 117. We got Walnut Binky, 799. And we got our friends, Dos Snowballs, who won the last race there at Road Atlanta. Japanese UFOs, who's been battling us in both races, finishing behind in second and third. Starting in 12th, Japanese UFOs in the yellow Ferrari. And uh, Mersinho BR, Beholder, you know he's tough. And I'm starting in 14th in the N Nicky Lauda number one. And here's Johnny 8. We saw him in a few races already, and he's pretty tough. So, remember. What to do is go five, six, seven, seven answers, Mark. All right, we need to go for triple gold. It's a 1970s Grand Prix Saturday. It's the Tag Hauer Goodyear A Gip number one. Maybe A Gip. Go to number hill. We're off. Beholder, here's Johnny A. Japanese UFOs, we're seeing your VR. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Ah, right, here we go. It's a tough first corner. Working in. Three laps, not impossible. Two and through the bricks and strap. And there goes Japanese UFOs. Wow, wow. Oh, come on. Come on. Who was that? Mersinho. You took his ball out, man. So Mersinho VR bumping our rear left with his front right. Took us out in lap number one. We're sitting back here in 15th and 16th position, respectively. It's going to be hard to get a podium today, but we realize we know who our rivals are. We can catch up, but one. Okay. All right, coming up on him now. Undone Odin. MMA. Tim. Coming through Speedville Bridge. Right behind here is Johnny Ace. And I see Japanese UFOs in his yellow Grand Prix. The yellow for up, up there. So that's a good gauge. As long as you're not too far behind Japanese UFOs, you know you're near a podium. At least in range of a podium. Sorry, Japanese UFOs! I got you with my front left. Fair back, uh, pay back is fair to play when you are all fair in war and racing. Oh, bumping me. Who the heck is that? That might have been. Who knows? There's Mersinho, dude. I'm not going to take you out. I'm going to take you out. Coming around the corner. Leading to Gardner Denver Hill. Here we are, climbing Gardner Denver Hill. Lap one of three. Are you kidding me, Mersinho? Dude! You straight just took me out there. That wasn't even close. Here's Johnny A right behind us. That wasn't even close to necessary. Alright. Ah. Stop bullying Resinio BR. That Brazilian blood is boiling. I guess you're tired of seeing certain people win. Right behind you, Skill. Nine eight seven, I see him. Boy, it's gonna be tough to get one today. It's impossible, but pass skilled. Right behind Walnut Binky, heading up Corvette Hill. Pass Walnut Binky. I think that's Japanese UFOs just got loose in the grass. In the yellow Ferrari, it is. Japanese UFOs just got loose. And I'm right behind him right now. I 
identical vehicles, different paint scheme. And the Red Scuderia is fighting his way back, or at least trying to fight his way back, to a podium. Behind Japanese UFOs, passing A to the one. Probably. Let's hope the Japanese UFOs get second and I get third. And I think that is a shot because I see him in front now. Six, five, and four for sure. Even three. Yeah, it's definitely a chance of podium today. I don't know if there's a chance of passing Japanese UFOs, but here we go. Into Hawk Corner. Heading up Garden Denver Hill where Casino took us out in lap number one. Right now, I'm just following Japanese UFOs, and we are in the final lap. Senior VR, let's check out that grid in three, two, there's the pole, one. So the pole is back and forth, we just passed him. Das Snowballs will get the victory. I'm pretty sure Beholder with a 219 best lap will probably hold on for a second. But you never know, we might, we're probably going to both come up to Beholder. For second place, but Japanese UFOs with the two, I'm um, sorry, Dos Snowballs with the 208 best lap is definitely getting the win again um, in back to back races. The pole back in fifth, Spooky Sheep back in seventh, eighth through the one in eighth. Here's Johnny eight, good for you in ninth. Walnut Binky, good for you also in tenth. Mercenio BR is back in eleventh. What can you say? Skilled, unfortunately, back to 13th. And um, MMA Imp. Right. Or M Math Imp. Right. Is in. Uh, okay, passing Japanese UFOs right there. I'm going to stay outside of the vehicle until I see. There is a shot. No, there's no shot of catching that snowball. So I'm going inside the vehicle for the rest of the race. I hope it's a good idea. Um, oh, there's Shut Dinosaur coming back. Wow. Yep, Shut Dinosaur and Japanese UFO is battling out back there for third and fourth. And that poor Red Hill looking good right now. Inside of the number one Red Scuderia. Fun view. Looking back, seeing nothing really risky as long as I keep it ooh, 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 a, little, a little wide. Come through Speedville Bridge. More of an overpass in the bridge. And, oh my goodness, look who's there. My gosh, Japanese UFOs. Just don't take me out, man. Again, for the third race in a row. Japanese UFOs and what you do? Battling out for either runner-up or victory. Now Snowballs is just an excellent race. Japanese UFOs is trying his best, but I'm running pretty smooth right now. Coming around the Hawk! Race proven street legal. And coming around the last corner that leads to Gardner Denver Hill. First Japanese UFOs. He's there, but he's not going to get us. He's not going to get us. Don't look back on Gardner Denver Hill. You got it. And it's a. No? Whoa, that was close. <laughs> back to back runner up. I was getting a little bit loose there in the grass, but it was good. Man, he was coming up strong, too. That couldn't have been more than a car length victory on that one. Maybe half a car length. Good work, though, for another runner-up. Another 9,620 credits. 9620 Kerr. Got some bonus on assist. Of course, we got the maximum affinity level with Ferrari and moving toward... Driver level 329. So that's three 
Silver is turned into gold today on 1970s Grand Prix Saturday. Um, so 70s GP Saturday is looking really good. And one, well, let's just look at it. Gold at Silverstone Grand Prix. Gold at Bugatti Circuit. We got that today. Gold at Catalonia Grand Prix. Gold at Long Beach. Full. Gold at Road Atlanta. Full. We got that today. Gold at Laguna Seca. Full. We got that today. Gold at Yas Marina. Full. Um, gold at Road Atlanta. Uh, Road America. Full. Gold at Nordschleife. Wow. How the heck did I do that? Okay. I'll take it though. Um, we're heading off to Once again to the modern circuit of Spa Belgium. At the circuit to Spa Francochamps, home of the Belgian Grand Prix. So Spa Modern. Looking good right now. Three for three golds. One victory at Le Mans and two runner-ups at Road Atlanta and Road America. Heading into race number four. What did you like? Games. There you see the pits at Circuit de Spa. Fun place to race as well. Their long laps should be two of them today. It is two o'clock local time in Belgium. 57 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a very nice temperature to race in. 21 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, 21 corners. And the starting grid remains the same. Shut Dinosaur, eight through the one. Spooky Sheep, Skilled, 117. Walnut Binky, M Math Imp. Dust snowballs, back-to-back -back victories. Japanese UFOs, right behind us in all three races. Mercedes BR, you better not bully in this race. I'm going to be upset. And Rojadu, Beholder, always in the mix. And here's Johnny 8, always trying and hopefully getting at least a bronze, if not a silver. Heck, go ahead and get second or third if I'm first or second. Always like, here's Johnny 8. Okay, we're ready. Race number four, remember. All you do is go for first, six, seven, or seven, and I turn this run. We're ready to roll. Good year, number one. Tag hour. Hey, man, you got it. You see it. We're inside the vehicle. And there is the older, and here's Johnny 8. And we're ready. There's the senior VR. I almost want to take him out right now. Oh, boy, this is going to be a like inside the vehicle. This is going to be tough. Be patient, good job. Alright, coming up to the O Rouge, and there's Mercina. Oh my gosh, no, I'm going, I'm going to that. I can't take that. O Rouge! Wow, somebody got loose. Somebody always does, and I did too. Hold it, hold it, hold it, not that. Okay, it's been 13. That was your 78, I believe. A lot of no-name bridges here at Spa. And, wow. A lot of bump in there, and sorry, you just got fun. I got hung up a little bit too. Oh, here's Johnny A straight through the tires. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Don't like to see here's Johnny A do for And again, he doesn't bump me, and he doesn't bother me that often. Japanese UFO is getting a little wide, but holding the corner nicely. Seen your BR, I'm coming inside you, bud. And I'm right, ooh, that was a nice one. Coming right behind Japanese UFOs here on Total Bridge. Actually, Total Quarter Pass. Oh, Japanese UFOs, gotcha. Ronald Binky, gotcha. Oh, pumping that accelerator and got all the way through to the no-name bridge into sixth position. Coming inside. Boom, boom, boom. Up to five. I see four and three. Looking good at Spa Modern right now. It's Spooky Sheep. And Skilled. Spooky Sheep. Pass Skilled to third. I pass him to fourth. Laps here at Circuit de Spa Funkashan.
But it's looking good. I see three and two. Here's Spooky Sheep. See how you take this corner. This is the major corner. Are you going to cut it or are you going to hold it? Well, you didn't cut it, so I got a podium. Oh, wow. Spooky Sheep. You know, he's tough. Put me on the outside after I cut the corner. Well, I'm cut. Oh! Off that wall, staying outside the field because we can't take it. Inside yet. Two tenths. Nice over Rouge. Excellent. Sitting in a good third. Okay, we can go inside the vehicle now. Probably for the remainder. Be smart, be wise. Got no one really behind you. You don't have to risk too much. It's gonna be quadruple gold. So working for quad gold. You don't want to run into anything here. Remember, here's Johnny A. And right into those tires. Good job. Shut down his doors. Back in second. Well, sorry, bud. Bump and run there on the pole. The pole is back in third, and many others chasing behind. We'll check out that grid in just a moment. But right now, we're sitting in runner-up again, which is okay. Depending on who's the pull, might be a chance for victory at Spa. And checking out that grid right here by the Totel Bridge. 3, 2, 1. Check it. Ooh, that's 8 through the 1 in the lead. And I've got a better first lap time than him, so there's a good chance. Shut Dinosaur, you know Japanese UFOs is going to pass. Shut Dinosaur. Skilled is moving up. Mersinho, Beholder. Oh, no, what happened to Das Snowballs? I think he got spun and he got run into the wall. Maybe completely off the track. He's sitting back in 10th. There's no way he can catch me at this point. He might be able to get up to 3rd or 4th, though. But right now, we're thinking about holding off Japanese UFOs and passing a 3 one 3 2 one Through the force of Belgium. You never know. AT might be able to hold on to this. But my first lap time was better than his first lap time. So I'm having a feeling that I can pick up that second on him. Yep. Shut Dinosaur is still back there in third. And that orange McLaren. Okay, Athey. I'm going to try to get by you, okay? I don't want to bump you. I don't want to take us both out. Well, I bumped you. Holding it, you're holding it. Oh my gosh, look who's right behind me. It's Japanese UFOs. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh boy. Japanese UFOs, are you kidding me, dude? All right. It's fine. You've been working hard today. You maybe deserve a victory. But I'm going to try to take it from you. He doesn't do his homework. He just races like a demon. That's okay, though. Sometimes racing like a demon works. Let's see how he takes the final turn. Does he cut it or does he go wide? He cuts it. All right. That's okay. He got a little wide, but he held it. So... Japanese UFOs, nice move for the win. And we're looking back with another runner-up, another goal. Japanese UFOs gets the victory, well done. Ooh, I think that might have been Mersinho coming up for the third. I'm not 100% sure on that. That looked like a light blue Grand Prix car. Who knows who got up there for third? That's interesting. Uh, 7150 Kerr. Third uh, quad gold. And, oh, driver level 329, nicely done. So, four for four. All right, we're gonna go for the full race five today. Continuing. Five for five gold, it's possible. Maybe get another victory in there, it's okay. So Japanese UFOs has a victory today. You just saw it at Spa. We have a victory at Le Mans. And Das Snowballs, who had a little bit of difficulty in that race, not even sure where he finished, um, has two victories on the board at Road Atlanta and Road America. So gold, 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 gold. Final race for today. We'll leave the two news for our next 1970s Grand Prix Saturday or Thursday or Tuesday, whatever day it might be. Heading off to the Bernie's Alps. Lauterbrunnen, Switzerland. The Alps Festival Circuit. It's a good one. It's a tough one. Got the um, Swiss Alps Tunnel. 
got, there you see, the Swiss Alps Bridge. Both on it and now from a distance. Beautiful scenery here. Teletram at Lauterbrunnen, taking you from peak to peak in the Swiss Alps. And the starting grid tells us here in 1970s Grand Prix Saturday that Shut Dinosaur still has the pole and all, all the others are back. We'll see who does it. Um, Shut Dinosaur in that orange McLaren has been tough all day. Eighty the one in the black Ferrari has been a good racer. You see Spooky Sheep in there in uh, their McLaren, skilled in that red McLaren. Walnut Binky, I think Walnut Binky might have gotten up there for a third in, the, in a blue Ferrari. And um, our friends, of course. So, final race today on a 70s GP Saturday. Remember. What do you do? Go 5x6, five, five, 7 is silver, and I 10 is bronze. All right. Let's see if Nikki Lada can go 5x5 five five today. Quite an accomplishment. You can't do better than 100%. And uh, if it could be a second victory, that would even make it more special. The book ended with two victories. Starting inside the vehicle. And we're off. And there's Mucinho. The holder right behind us. And this first corner is important. That's all of them. A little bit wide, but it's okay. Steering clear of trouble. Through the triple. There are the fans. In the stands. And standing near the wall. And good right now, there's dust snowball. I think right there, there's uh, that might have been in the first position last night. I think it was that kind of far. Interesting, I'll have to re examine that. Uh, whoa, a little bit of bump there. Sorry, you know, Dust Snowball took advantage of that when I bumped the spooky sheep. Come on, oh boy, Dust Snowball's looking for a victory. He's looking for three out of five. Man. Gonna go too crazy here. Looking back through the Swiss Alpine tunnel and ooh, cutting inside. Well done. In the second, right behind that snowball. This is looking good right now. You see the beautiful scenery of the Swiss Alps and Lachlan Lake and the old wooden bridge. All right. Looks like that snowball has winning on his mind, so he's probably not gonna be caught. Unless he gets bumped, which he wants. And he can't get bumped in first, really. That's why the runner up. Uh, his his first lap time will be extremely strong and he won't stop. So it'll be a win for Dust Snowballs. Can we get our fourth runner up in a row? That's the question. Staying inside the vehicle for three laps? Sure, why not? We haven't had any difficulty yet. Passing into lap number one at 159. by the triple again. Hello fans. And looking passing beneath Swiss Alpine Bridge. We're looking really good. And no real mistakes, no real setbacks so far. In race number five of five on 1970. Not going to catch dust snowballs. It looks like on the mini grid down there in the lower left that someone is approaching, but not close enough to be a problem unless we make a mistake. You never know. You never know who it is, and you know in that last lap, it's like some kind of energy boost at some time where these drop cars just go crazy. We're passing by the back side of the triple. I'm sure people run from one side to the other. Right now they're running. To the opposite end of the triple. Try to catch the other piece. 
And second lap in 346. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Final lap. Nobody really there that we can see. Out of the dribble. Hello. Oh, yeah, somebody's coming there. So if I make a mistake, there could be a problem. But if I don't make a mistake, I don't think it's going to be too close. I don't think. Let's get, let's get out of the tunnel first. Get out of the tunnel. Actually, we'll check it right as soon as we get to this straight. Three, two, one, grid. All right, Dot Snowball's long gone. Look at that best lap time. My goodness. 141. How is that possible? It's excellent, but wow. Um, our best lap time of 146, which is nice. Oh, my goodness. Mercinho back there at 143. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Coming probably around the back side of the triple um, on the opposite side of the course. And then Beholder. Right behind him, here's Johnny 8. Looks like he's getting a solid silver. Maybe even, who knows, maybe even a podium. Skilled back there in 6. 8 through the 1 in 7th. Shut Dinosaur in 8th. Oh no, what happened to Japanese UFOs? His best lap is only 2 minutes. He's had a rough race today. Well, you know, life is like that. Spooky Sheep back there in 13th. M Math Imp back there in 14th. And Undone Odin with Walnut Binky. Bringing up the, uh, the back of so, three, two, one, three, two. Oh yeah, you know Mercenio. Mercenio has a chance. He's gonna be right there. So I gotta keep my advantage. I, I gotta keep my advantage. I can't let him get near. Run it as smooth as you can. Oh my goodness, he's already there. Mercenio is already there. Mercenio is already directly behind us. My gosh. And you know he's gonna try to bump it again. Gotta hold it. Smooth, gotta be sure. Got as smooth as sure as you can be right now. Yep, got a little bit of room there. And to the back side of the triple. Hold it, hold it. Heading across the bridge, coming up. And then it should be yours. A fourth runner up awaits. Got Snowball's laps are too strong to do anything else. But you never know. You never know. Coming up to the finish. It's a runner-up. Yes! Quintet Gold. Ferrari does it. Nikki Lauda in the red Scuderia. The number one Rojadu 5 for 5 golds here on 70s GP Saturday. You got another 79.30 Kerr. Excellent work. Excellent work at 48 minutes into the Twitch TV broadcast. We got five for five gold. I'm tempted, you know? It's kind of like when you're in the gaming center. If you're on a roll, why not keep going? Hmm. What do you think? Two more? No. No? Yes, yes. Yeah? Two more? Finish out the division? It's a 70s Grand Prix Saturday. We've got gold all the way up to the two news. Sebring and Prague Fool. We now return Let's to do one it. Of the oldest race We're on a roll. Let's States. finish it off. Might take an hour. Way. That's all right. Hour broadcast. Not a bad deal. That's standard for television. All right. So here we are. Heading off to Sebring, Florida this morning. Sunoco, Mobile One, Xbox One, United States of America. Florida Fresh. Trying to make it six for six. This is always a tough one. I'm telling you right now, if this one does, if this one fails, we're saving both of uh, the last two Sebring and Prague for another broadcast. But um, it's 7:45 a.m. It's 70 degrees. It's the same group. Shut Dinosaur, A through the One, Spooky Sheep, Skilled, Walnut Binky, and Da Snowballs, Japanese UFOs. He's not on this race. And Marcinho BR. Rochadu and Beholder. Here's Johnny 8. Remember. Rochadu is going for 6 on the 7 and 9 on this brown. 
Going for six for six gold. That whole last race was inside the vehicle. We're definitely not doing that at Sebring. Sebring is too wild and too crazy. We'll start out there, but we're going to get out of it really quick. There we are. There are the two behind us, as always. Beholder and here's Johnny A. And we are, we can handle it here, but heading into this first turn, you've got to get right here because there's just too much. Bumping and math. Japanese UFOs in the yellow Ferrari. We bumped a little bit. I put him a little bit wide. Gave Mersinho a chance to scoot through there into 11th. Mersinho's pushing it hard today. Got a little bump there. Beholder got a little advantage on that one. A lot of traffic at the beginning of Seabury. Oh boy, somebody just got bumped. He's getting a little wide. You can see it with the puffs of, of dust coming out from the rear part of the vehicle. Nice corner there. Very good. Right behind Pillow. Pillow we run. Somebody just got loose there. Who is that? Oh! Beholder bumping and pushing! Oh, Beholder. You want to win. Oh. Yeah. Look at that orange cone. Lying across like a tumbleweed. No, that was skilled. I thought that was Beholder. That was skilled. Well, actually, it might have been Beholder. They're so close. I bump you, Beholder. Get off in that grass. Look at that. Bang. Wow. A lot of banging, a lot of pushing of orange cones. All right, sitting there in 10th. It's okay with three laps. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. I can live with it. Nine, Walnut Binky. Eight, Virginia VR. Seven, I don't know. Good pass, though. Yeah, a lot of good. Mookie Sheep in six. And eight is the one in fifth. Out of moving up, moving up, doing well. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Good job. Cones everywhere. Sitting in fifth. And I see four, three, and two right in front of me. This is a good place to be on lap number one at Seaburn. Not going inside the vehicle until I get the runner up. Can't afford it. Heading here around Sunset Bend. Usually a problem for me, but it looked okay there. Oh, there's a new face up there in fourth. That festival. Alright, lap number two. And those two gone. Sitting in a podium. I think we can go inside the vehicle from here. After we get past this right here, we can go inside the vehicle. This part of the track is really tough. Who's that sitting up there and runner up? Like the pole, huh? Shut dinosaur, the pole it is in that dark orange McLaren. Got it. Heading inside the vehicle for the remainder of the race, hopefully. That something goes wrong. Riding along with Nikki Lauda. What would you do in the Red Scoot area? Uh-huh. Oh, that pole is sitting there. That pole is sitting there. And I'm tired of you passing me for six straight races. Believe me, some of my other friends will be coming to catch you as well. But Shut Dinosaur, you've been a very respectable pole all day. So props to you. I see finish back in 10th and maybe even further back in the field than that. Been right there on the top. Always, I think always getting silver. Mac. Mac. Looking good on lap number two. Beholder is there. Beholder is there. Just as he was at the beginning. Beholder is right there now, sitting on a podium. Watch Beholder. Get around some step bend. Don't run into the wall. Don't get crazy. Anyone near? Looks like no one's near. Yeah. Alright, final lap. A 
Well, I thought no one was near. Beholder was right next to me. I couldn't see him on the grid. He was that close. Hey, I have no problem with you getting second. Here. Don't want us to bump in both feet. Ran out. You deserve a runner up to this. You raced hard. All day. But I'll take it if you want to give it to me. If you give me, a, if you give me an opening, I'll take it. Looks like we've got one, two, three wrapped up, though. Definitely, I mean, if I can pass you, I'll pass you. But, you know. Uh huh? Works. Beholder running very well in his McLaren right now. That blood red McLaren. And get on that straightaway and check out the grid just to see. Who's doing what today? In race number six. Because we're going to get the uh, Magnificent Seven man, today. Oh boy. Pretty good. Coming down that straight. Yeah, not going to catch you anyway, Beholder. You did well. Uh, 3 2 1 grid. Let's check it out. Yeah, Dot Snowballs. Wow, man. Wow. That one race you got off and um, all the others you got the win. Um, so, Dot Snowball, his best lap, 202. And his total, he's done. He's done at 618, and we're still on the track. Um, that's unbelievable. Great drive tar racing there by Dot Snowballs. Um, Beholder in second, and we're in third. Shut Dinosaur, a very respectable pole, finishing in highest silver. Mercino will battle for that, you know. But uh, looks like that blood red McLaren number 11 is going to get that runner-up. I'll try. Moving it up. There you see it, 1100 RPMs. Coming here around sunset. And if you hit a wall to get loose, I'll take it. But Okay. You deserve a runner-up. You deserve a podium for sure. You've raced well all day. Golden Ferrari, six for six. Nicky Lauda on a 70s GP Saturday has a perfect record. So a victory, four runner-ups. And a third. Six for six podiums. Another 9,000 credits. And... Oh, one inch from driver level 330. So we're going to go for divisional gold today. Didn't really think it would happen at the beginning of the day, but we're at 58 minutes right now, and we're on a six for six run. So there's no reason to uh, stop at this point. But this next one will be probably an extremely difficult one, knowing the track like I do, we return or we do, to Prague, if you watch this enough. City We're getting back to Praha. And magnificent architecture. Prague fool! It's Fizzy Pop, it's Anne's Candy Shop, it's Bella Bella Espresso, it's Old Town Prague, it's Charles Bridge, it's Tava River. It's excellent racing. Um, if you get a chance to catch any of the full reverse Prague track races, those are also outstanding. Um, you get to see everything from opposite view of the regular obviously but um it's really it's a, it's a neat it's a, a neat perspective to do this track in reverse whether it's reverse or reverse short it's good so it's 57 degrees this morning in prague it's 19 corners there's jan hus and the uh, astronomical clock sitting over there right next to where we are actually looking at right now we know our grid, we know our rivals. It's one more race for divisional gold. It's one more race for seven for seven. If it can't happen, we'll come back another day, but it's 3.51 miles on three laps. Let's remember, if you want to get gold, what do you have to do? What well, today's gold, but for six, seven is silver and not tennis bronze. Going for seven for seven. Oh, for the Scuderia. Number one, back hour, good year. They get it. We're doing it. 
We're definitely getting outside of this vehicle really quick. You see them all. There they are. Get out really quick. We're going to actually get home. Dude, this is cool, bro. Got to be. Got to be patient here. Got to be patient. It's too risky right there. Do anything crazy. You know where you can make the moves. Try to push it too hard on that first corner of the first lap at Frog, and it's always disaster. Now you can start making the moves. I pass for Marcinio. And really following Dust Snowball. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good course of action. Following Dust Snowball. And here they all are. The Japanese UFOs in the yellow bar. That's a beautiful car by the way. Japanese UFOs, nice choice. Definitely would be my second choice. They're skilled in his red corner. Whoa! Ooh boy, that could have hurt. Instead of just moving to the opposite side of the track, luckily. Okay, Japanese UFOs going by Undone Odin. Right now it's looking like one, two, three. There's eight through the one in the pole. And we both pass them. So the friends are one, two, three. The question is, how long will it last? Well, we don't know. Coming outside, coming outside, and then cutting back inside. Here on Ford Racing Corner. Heading to Charles Bridge. Looking good. Crossing into the top roof. Driving through it. Oh boy, lost a little bit there. Up to Old Town Square. Astronomical clock and Jan Hoos corner. Jan Hoos! Now, number two or three, about ready to begin. Looking good, I think we can go inside now. I think we can go inside now. We see St. Vitus and Broad Castle in the distance. Get a really nice view of it on the reverse. Oh! Japanese UFOs going into the grass. What the heck? <laughs> well, maybe shot there. Listen, I'm okay with the podium. Don't worry about it. You can take the runner-up. I don't mind. But if you give me the runner-up, I will definitely take it. You know, as well as I, Doc Snowballs, his best lap time. We're going to check it out here pretty soon. But, oh my gosh. Doc Snowballs is incredible. Looking good, driving here with Nicky Lauda. The Austrian legend. So you see Frog Castle and St. Vitus in the distance. I'm here through Archway Colonnade for the second time. Nobody really near. Like I said, Japanese UFOs, you can definitely at St. George's. Uh, you can definitely have the runner-up. I do not mind. Well done. Well done. Have a nice, clean third lap. You never know. Somebody might try to catch you. I'm excellently fine with a 7 for 7 gold third place on the podium. Not a problem. Especially at a place like Frog. Town Square, Clock Corner. Yon Heading into lap three. No one there. Looking good. Driving along with. There you see St. Vitus. Driving along with. Picky Lauda. With the prancing horse. Right there in front of you. Looking good. Looking great. Keep it. Hold it. Final lap for divisional gold. Wow, what an accomplishment in one day. Seven for seven gold. Really didn't think it was going to happen today. But in the first race, which was so exciting. Please watch the replay if you haven't seen it live of Bugatti Circuit at Le Mans. Grand Prix race. It was just outstanding. For victory and the bump and the way it was. Oh, man. The Japanese UFOs. It's long gone in second. 
coming out here of the park district. We are going to pick out the grid. Three, two, one, grid. Not snowballs. Best lap 148. Are you kidding me, man? That is excellent racing. Um, you can see it. One, two, three, four, five. All uh, Ferrari 312s. That's also pretty impressive. Marcinho's behind us. I'm not sure exactly how far behind us, but Japanese UFOs is pretty far in front of us at 159 best lap for the runner up. Uh, the pole is back in sixth. Here's Johnny Eight. Excellent job there in fifth. And eighth through the one beholder back in eighth with skilled. Spooky Sheep back in tenth. Um, Festival Tadio is um, in 11th and M Math M sitting back there in 16th position. We see him. Final lap. Good work so far. Back up here in the archway column, I don't really see anyone in the rear views. And uh, pretty good, I think. Coming by St. George, heading up to the old Wiltava River Bridge, the cobblestone Charles Bridge. Looking great, looking really great, actually. Um, third. Pretty good distance between one, two, and three. Not sure who's going to come in fourth. Maybe Shut Dinosaur. Maybe Marcinho. Depends, but we're looking great. We're seven for seven. Block corner. Yonus. Finishing it off at Frog. Divisional gold. Great job, Nikki. There you see St. Bartus. That is tremendous. Seven races, seven gold, 67 minute Twitch TV broadcast. The Red Scuderia, the number one. Tag Hour, Goodyear. Nikki Lauda. Gets divisional gold today. Driver level 330. A lot of good credits today as well. Building up to I don't know what. I'm not sure. That was terrific. Um, we'll go ahead, go ahead and view that replay as we uh, sign out today. And sign off for a wonderful Forza 70s GP Saturday. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the action. Hope you enjoyed the scenery and the footage. Remember, we race for him and always win, and then all we do, we give glory to you. Signing off here from Circuit to Prague and Prague, check it Praha. Great place to race, great place to visit, great place to live, I'm sure, if um, you are a resident of the city. So, until next time, until next time, we wish you a happy. Good night. Happy. Happy, happy Fourth of Saturday. Good night. Have a great one. Nikki Lauda. Enjoy the weekend. Drive home safe. And good night. Come forward. See you tomorrow for a Forza Sunday.